There are a couple of situations when the Torah requires that a person should make an oath. This is a biblical oath. There are a number of rabbinic oaths, but there are three cases of biblical oaths. One is in the case of a watchman that we spoke about previously. One person is watching over an animal or an object for another person, and the watchman claims that the item got lost or stolen. They are required to make an oath that this was not due to their negligence and that this is indeed what happened. And then there are two more cases. Let's say two people come to the basin, to the court of law, and one of them says, this person owes me $100, and the other person says, I owe you money, but I only owe you $50. This is called a mitzvah mixus, which means agreeing to part of the claim, and they are required to make a biblical oath that they only owe $50. There's another case when two people come to the basin, to the court of law, and one of them says, this person owes me $100, and here's a witness that is verifying that they indeed owe me money. So if there would be two witnesses, this would be enough biblically for them to be required to pay. But one witness is enough to require them to make a biblical oath that they indeed don't owe any money to the other person. These oaths are included in the mitzvah that we study today and for the next few days, which is the general laws of monetary claims according to Torah. And there are many different cases. We will speak more about this mitzvah over the next few days. Thank you for watching.